What's going on, everybody? Hello, welcome to the Hustling Sideways podcast. I'm Alan Hallis. I'm a music writer from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm Jim Love, and I'm a keynote motivational speaker from Chicago, Illinois, currently in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And this is episode number 60 of it, it Hustling is, Sideways. I thought we were doing a bonus. Oh, is that it? <laughs> Are we doing? Are we doing the pod first? I thought we were doing the pod first. We're doing the pod first. Sounds good. This okay. is welcome to episode sixty. I uh, <laughs> keep that in. Keep that. Yeah, in. we'll keep it. That's for good. Sure. So funny story about. First of all, thought this was a different recording, but second of all, I forgot that we do a check in. I actually, <laughs> you had to text me to be like, "Hey, when are we doing our pod?" Yeah, and I'm like, "We do our. What are you talking about?" And episode like, sixty. That's right. So if you're new to this. Every and clearly I am too because I don't even know what we're recording. Uh, every ten episodes, we do a check in where Alan yes. and I just kind of chop it up and go back and forth about what we've experienced and and uh, just you know go go back to to, to the OG kind of kind of moments and the, days yeah the first couple episodes when it was of, just us of and you guys got really side. tired of us and so we decided to invite our friends over but <laughs> that's, that's where it's at so we are at sixty and actually that's like a pretty but large number. Yeah. Um, 50 was obviously significant because that's, you know, a milestone. But, right. Um, but Alan and I, again, would both be completely lying if we were like, yeah, we'll do this pod and we'll get to 60. And, and actually, to be honest, 61 episodes already recorded. So, yeah. Like, it's pretty cool. I Well, good. two things. One, I, I never thought, I thought we were originally going to do five. That was really the thing. Yeah, was I think I, I was We were like going to do 10, it as a uh, mini series mm-hmm. kind of thing. Yeah. But then it just kind of grew. Mm-hmm. Um, but then on top of that, um, I have read that most podcasts do not get past 40 episodes. Interesting. So, so we're already like beating we're the past. statistics. We're way past it, and yeah. we have a lot more on the way. So we are not just another number. No. All right? We are we are a we number are a, significantly larger than that other are, number. Yeah, the other one, to hell with the other number. Yeah. We are here. But um, it's been it's been great. It actually, as we're sitting here, it's June in, in, in Milwaukee, and uh, it's beautiful outside. I got shorts and t-shirts. It's actually a little bit cold today. That's why I'm that's sweatshirt. Fine. Yeah. I'm the weird combination of sweatshirt and shorts. That's right. But we've been through every season in here. Sometimes yeah. you get snow in the background. Sometimes <laughs> you get a dog going nuts. But, um, and then now we've actually switched up a little bit because we've been doing some fully so, virtual yeah. uh, uh, interviews, which has been interesting because I don't have like this in my home we're gonna work on it we're, we're gonna on. we'll get you some amazon i want to you some supplies but uh but it's been interesting because we didn't really think like i mean it's worked fine yeah um obviously it's the the best case scenario is having all three people in the same room right but of course we can always operate with that but we have to kind of like not talk over each other and i'm really rude and interruptive so i typically talk over alan as it is and it always makes it a little bit awkward it I'm is like, it's a new experience <laughs> but i think you know what it variety is the spice of life jim mm. Um, yeah. so I think that we, we do a decent job of getting, you know, getting our thoughts in and mm-hmm. getting our guests involved as well. It's very true. Um, and we've had some interesting guests so far. Yeah. Uh, we've it's, done a couple completely virtual, but. You see Alan's nice chicken scratch over here. This yes. Is, this is the folks that we have. So, okay. We, we usually in these, uh, in these rundowns, which we do basically twice a year. That's mm-hmm. why we forget about that. Well, that's a good point. I literally forgot that we, I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah. And now I remember it. So in the course of the, the last few episodes, we had Brian Hendricks. Mm-hmm. We had Bill McCormick. We had Aishel White of Isharai Artist Management and Moo Sample. Uh, we had Jamar Jones. We had Xavier Mercado from uh, Spearhead Conversations. Mm-hmm. Uh, Young Su Chung, who is a uh, it was a San Francisco startup mm-hmm. guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best way to put <laughs> Cereal, it. Uh, hustler, Cereal right? side like hustler. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Cassidy McCants, uh, freelancer. Mm-hmm. Todd Bryson, another freelance writer, um, and Kyle Haggy in yeah. our most recent episode. Yes. So. All sorts of a wide gamut of uh, of different side hustles, yeah. businesses, and actually the one that was most unique and the one that actually took convincing by the guest, and he wouldn't mind me saying this, was Bill McCormick. Because yeah, Bill technically didn't do the thing that he wanted to do, which, right. which was cool because we, you know, oftentimes we talk a lot about like successes, and you know, a lot of people that we get are doing that thing that they're passionate about, mm-hmm. either doing it really well or at least growing it and kind of coming into their own. And whether they're monetizing it, whatever they're doing, there's at least a process along with it. Bill talked about it years ago, and I was in the room when he talked about it, and he asked me his, his uh, advice, and then life happened. And, yeah. And he he moved, had a kid, and, and now this phrase that. But, like, the lessons that he learned along the way, and there's still, like, an interest in it, and he still, like, looks it up. And it was about eSports, right, and really yeah. enjoys that and, and uh, you know, certainly has a lot of uh, – passion around it but but didn't do it and that's okay like yeah. like you're not gonna life life does happen and if you have an interest in something and and you know you move or 
change jobs, whatever, whatever it may be. That's that's totally fine, and that's bound to happen every now and then. Yeah, I think that that is something that we have the luxury of being able mm-hmm. to talk about now that we are like sixty episodes deep. Mm-hmm. Is you know, it's great when they're all successes. Yeah. But sometimes, and I wouldn't even say it's a failure, it's just an idea that never got off the ground because yeah. of other, you know, yeah. outside just fine. circumstances. Yeah, and, and you could still hold an interest and not chase it, like, relentlessly. You know, for like, sure. like that's that's okay. And I that's why, you know, for us, like, you know, we're, we're obviously, we kind of do our thing, but but there's plenty of things I know I'd like to do and just, like, haven't done it. <laughs> you know? I, okay, like, so many this is things. <laughs> a weird time because I have legitimately yeah. had, today I had some stuff go on. Shit went down. Yeah, right and uh, it, involving not even a side hustle, just a, a project that I also work mm-hmm. on. But I've had a couple different business ideas that have spawned out of that. <laughs> and I swear I have told myself, like, don't do it yet. But at some point, it could happen. Mm-hmm. Um, but in Bill's case, you know, there was also the opportunity that, you know, we could have a Milwaukee esports franchise still. Yeah. The way that he wanted to, you know, localize uh, esports teams, which was something completely unique and mm-hmm. is still available. Maybe yeah. we should we'll nix that from the record that there doesn't <laughs> exist yet other than like the right. NBA league or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, there. And another part too, that I liked about a lot of these folks, you can always tell by the way, there's nothing wrong with the other way on this. I want to be clear, but right. you can tell who's, who's, uh, who's done a lot of podcasts before and like, yeah, like who's experienced like Brian Hendricks has his own pod. Jamar has his own pod and not Xavier that year too. Yeah. Mercado. Xavier too. And, and, um, and Todd, I think kind of does a, a lot of that on the side, but, um, not that it's it's like a clear difference, but it's just funny because there's not much direction it needs to be. You're just like, we'll just say a question and then that person just takes it and we kind of roll and it usually yeah. the, the time flies by and they're all a pleasure. I'm, I'm not picking a favorite child here, but it's really there, there was a lot of seasoned veterans on, on, oh, this, absolutely. on this ride, and which has been cool. And then people who we had a lot in common with like Brian and Jamar, I'm, I'm friends with now. And like we talk all the time about about leadership development, about speaking. And there's so many things and theme themes i should say that we that we have in common it's really cool to yeah. kind of spice it out and then you realize like i borrow stuff from them too i'm right. like oh they talked about that like that totally good. remember when i was like finishing jamar's sentence when he was like yeah, like, yeah. The one thing i like i like blew the next thing he was gonna say because i said it before he did right and i was like all right we're but i here. mean and he also uh running a media company mm-hmm. um so i had a lot in common with a, yeah. a few of our guests not only f- you, you know for over forever mm-hmm. media um, but also Todd and Casty with with their writing. Exactly. Uh, I didn't realize that we booked back to back writers until we did. And then it happened. And, and then, then it all, happened. We just wrote. We just wrote the heck out of it. Actually, when we booked Todd's uh, podcast, he had said I hadn't seen any writers on here before, <laughs> and that was right after we had booked Cassidy's. Uh-huh. And like I think we had already filmed that one. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And so it came along, and it was like, oh hey, well I guess. We're gonna do two right away, back to back. And, that's and it worked out, and they were very different writers, which is good. Yeah, like and, exactly. And, and actually, and it's funny if you listen to Cassidy's episode. I, I've known Cassidy for about twelve years. We studied abroad together, and totally didn't even register that she had anything on the side until we were on a reunion call for the study abroad group. And I was like, "Wait a minute! Like, we should talk. What are you doing right. next week?" And then it worked out. But it is really cool. And that's one thing I found too. Like, my ears now so perk up when I hear someone talk about what they do on the side, side. hustle. Like, and this actually, you're gonna a, a guest coming up here soon, a coworker of mine who put up on Facebook about what the company she's running with her family. Yeah, and I was like, that's awesome. Also. You should come on the show, and yeah. turns out she listens to the show. So, oh. uh, yeah. So, Kajal, shout out to you, and we'll 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 talk to you pretty soon. But yeah, I think um, that's it, episode sixty three, sixty two, something we'll like that. It something like that. Yeah, yeah. But it is really cool, and and it's definitely given me like a level of excitement I didn't typically have around just generally people who were putting passions. And I sure. I think I've always been like you know we I mean, you and I talk about this a lot. We like people who are passionate about something, right? And we find that. And I've always kind of had that, but then I'm like, wait a minute, now I get to talk to them. Yeah, and I find out more about it, which is really cool. So yeah, I think doing this show uh, originally, the concept was we were going to bring on all of our friends that did things on the side, yeah. and we legitimately were like combing through friend groups, and mm-hmm. we were going, well, okay, I know this person does this, I know this person does that, and then like we kind of hit a wall a little bit, yeah. where yeah. all of a sudden we realized like, oh, maybe they're not doing that thing anymore, or maybe <laughs> that's not really like a side project thing exactly. or whatever yeah um but this time around like okay so we had bill with his uh-huh. unique experience we knew him uh i shall mm-hmm. uh, i've known for years mm-hmm. and have learned all about her projects and in doing so i was like you need to be on yeah, the show this one makes sense um xavier mercado was a fun one for us with spearhead conversations 
uh, because that was literally like the day before it came out. Yeah, that was a a, a panic text that, that we were like, "Oh crap, we, we need, need a, show. a guest." Yeah, it Which was happens like, a lot, and it is kind of funny because like there's work that goes into this, you know, and and it's mm-hmm. on, most of it's planning. To be frank, we don't yeah. we don't totally like this. it's a lot of texting and calendars, very much two so. apps. and like when it like give me the days you're free in the next two weeks, and then and then like again, excuse me, this bubbly is making me <laughs> making me burp over here, but. Uh, you know, like, and then and then life will happen, like we said, and then we'll go three weeks and be like, "Well, we need another episode." This right. is probably like the fifth time that's been like. I remember when like Kate uh, Merrill came on, and it was like the night before this yeah. was going on. Somebody a couple else we ago. had too was like the night before it came out. Yeah, yeah, but it works out. And then and then as we go along, we start. I want to use the term exhausting our networks, but we've talked to a lot of people that we know. Yeah, and we found this amazing thing called pod match yeah and, exactly and, and this is really cool and it's almost so, i'd call it like tinder for for podcasts essentially kind but, of but in a really basically. platonic i want to join your podcast <laughs> i just want to be a guest on your yeah. podcast yeah uh so we'll give them the free plug a little bit because pod yeah. match is like if you have a podcast it's really um, cool. we put our profile out there and so what happened was um we were hitting this point where you and i would book you know we'd book like three or four mm-hmm. in a row and then we be on a good hit of like oh we got a month of content we're good we're set and then like we would both kind of just forget about it (laughs) and be like ah well another one's coming out or a bonus is coming out this week it's funny to like forget about the thing you've been doing for like two and a half years you know i just like i just don't it's like yeah we did it like and move on it was almost like putting it on autopilot and being like well okay this thing exists (laughs) and it's out there and it's gonna come out on monday and it's gonna be fine everything's edited we're good to go yeah um, and then we would hit the point where like you and I hit a point where we were like, Oh my God, we need to book someone. Yes. Um, every two weeks we would run into like, we need to book somebody mm-hmm. for like easily. I'd say probably like two months. You yeah, and I were both like, while. Oh yeah. God, we got to get somebody for this week. Yeah. And it's just tough. Cause like, obviously this is life again, gets in the and, way and that, and like, this is not our job, you know, like this is our side yeah, to our is, side. This is our side to our side hustle. So yeah. it's, it's, we love both love it and it's a lot of fun, but it takes, it takes work, and sometimes we just have weeks where we're like not here or traveling, you know, whatever it might be, and you forget. Until mm-hmm. uh, there was Tell one day, more. and I really, I do not know what happened. Oh, Something yeah. with the algorithm must have just popped, but all of a sudden we were getting like tons of messages on pod match Mm -hmm. so maybe we were like a featured pod for the day or something must have been feature us yeah a lot of fun um and all of a sudden guests just started popping up Mm -hmm. left and right so that's actually uh that's how we got todd bryson Mm -hmm. that's how we got young su chung i believe was through pod match yeah and more to come and and many more to come there's gonna be so we have i mean while we're sitting here and it's currently what june 6th or whatever it is uh like we are gonna be booked through like we have September content through September soonish. So we're, if we tape all of the ones that we yeah, have planned, which to is tape. great. And then on top of that, as so we've talked about this many times um, on here, and it just got delayed. So that's yeah. the story. But we will be at uh, Marquette University, yes, at the seven hundred seven hub. Which yeah. for those of you who haven't listened to the show, if you have, this is a nineteenth time did, you're in a. We did one bonus. We did one there. bonus there. If you remember that a couple months ago, but yeah. Um, but basically, we were supposed to do this last semester. And um, March Madness happened, and and just things got things just got kind of. March, and I moved, you know, the yeah, whole thing. March and, Madness happened. It was yeah. a busy time in both of our lives. Mm-hmm. So we just and then for the seven hundred seven hub too, they got they got delayed, and it was just a lot. Yeah. So we're like, guys, let's push this to next semester. So our our plan starting September fourteenth, yeah, we're gonna have a live episode. We have four of them planned, two of them booked so far, which mark is that, great. Mark that in your calendars. Yes, uh, September fourteenth. Yes, and I'm pretty be, sure that's the date. Uh huh. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna have some awesome guests. Jeff Sherman, who's a local Milwaukee guy, who's super cool, will be there. Yeah. Omar Shakith, who owns uh, Third the, Street um, Market Third Hall. Street Market Hall, is gonna be around. I got a couple other folks to reach out to. So, which is gonna be really cool because then we're gonna go. We're gonna like get sort of this part over where we're scheduling and getting it all recorded, and then. We go and do, do some live shows, get some students involved, For have sure. a lot of fun on Marquette's campus, and then we'll probably bring it right back here and, and do it. So there's good stuff coming, which has been a lot of fun. And we uh, this is probably the most comfortable we've been. I was gonna say, in a I while. think like so we've had moments with this podcast yeah. where we've definitely felt like things are kind of on the upswing. Um, totally. This feels like the biggest upswing right now because we have honestly we we have so much that we are taping yeah. this month that you're hearing a this ton. yeah this um, is the start of of you know i, I will do in one another one tomorrow you know like it's happening yeah so, like yeah. a roller coaster of episodes mm-hmm. are all of a sudden happening 
And uh, we texted about this before, and Jim was like, well, we can take a break before for a little bit if we wanted. And I was kind of like, in my head, I'm thinking of all the different times that we've yeah. been like, ah, oh, we can take a couple yeah. weeks. And it never works out. So I'm like, let's keep the train rolling, man. Just let's keep put doing it, it. Put it in my veins. Like, I'd be fine to be like six or seven months booked out of like, we've done it, and you know, and then just keep going. And then you never know. Like, yeah. What's funny is that then like when it gets to that point, the stuff that we've recorded. When we go know, on vacation. Yeah, that's right. And then we'll be like, oh God, oh no, we What's, need another one. Yeah. Or like what I, what I just said six months ago is so outdated or like I sound like a moron then, which, you know. Yeah, that is, that could be a thing that might happen because <laughs> we're going to tape a lot in June mm-hmm. and so it's going to be fall. Yeah. It's going to be like college <laughs> basketball season. Which is season. fine. And speaking of that, as we sit here today on June 6th, our very own Shaka Smart yep. has been extended to the year 2030. By oh wow yeah that's a real number in i know lives. and that's like not oh, that far God. away which is bonkers like, i am the person that does bad math and i still am like carry the one i'm you know yeah i'm like i'm really bad with math and go oh yeah yeah like the 90s that was only yeah. oh a long time ago that was not 10 yeah. years ago like in the 90s anymore 2030 is within <laughs> grasp he's actually recruiting guys probably right now or starting next year who will be graduating in 2030 Oh my God. Think about it. It's seven years away. I know. I know. know. I'm like, it's messed up, but that's where we're at. So we're excited. We just had a very real moment of feeling really old. And you're going to be, how old are you going to be in 2030? I'm 32. But in 2030. Oh, I will be, oh God, I'm going to be 40, dude. You'll be 39. I'll be 39, turning 40 in December. Whoa. That's of 2030. I will be too. Oh, man. Oh, We're losing it. This is a real midlife crisis that's happening. I don't like that at all. That's what thing. We're going to need some people to start sponsoring this podcast yeah, so we can have our guys, midlife crises. We're, uh, we need help. <laughs> we're gonna, no, we need to buy our Ferraris. We're going to need also our midlife the Ferraris, crises. Which I guess is help. We need financial help to do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. <laughs> so. Well, that's wild. But yes, we will be almost at basketball season. This comes down. Like, I'm, I'm really kind of freaked out by that number. I'm not, like, I'm not even, that's, I don't like it. But well, anyway. That's where we're at. Yeah. Um, we've, <laughs> had, we've had a really, really good run of shows mm-hmm. thus far. And I, I did think so about one thing, too, you know, how your business has grown mm-hmm. since then uh, for you. I mean, school has happened in the last 10 episodes. So you're back in, totally back yeah. into speaking season. Yeah. And, you know, right now. So like so, you know, the summer is kind of off, if you will. Yeah. Uh, but the spring was amazing. I had a lot yeah. of stuff in the spring. It's very much some repeat business. And then I did like a conference back in January that got me a lot of stuff for, for the year. And then, um, in a week, but, and, and I guess at time of the show, it'll already be happening. I'll be back at the Wisconsin leadership seminars with, uh, there you go. 250 students from all different high schools in Wisconsin. So that's when gonna be a I lot of fun. Wills, you say something. When I, I say one, you say two. When, when I, I say, say wills, wills, you say for you. Yeah. One, two wills. <laughs> For you, <laughs> I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but I could. I, I could. forgot. I forgot. So I taped. Uh, yes, Alan uh, got to see me in action last yeah, year at, at this time, which I think was fun. Yeah, I hope. Oh, it was I fun. enjoyed it. It was not the experience I thought it was gonna be. What did you think it was gonna be? I thought it was gonna be a lot of like nerdy leader kids that <laughs> were like, I'm gonna be straight. Yeah, up. No, go ahead. I thought it was like a lot of like nerdy leader kids yeah. that at, originally that it was gonna be that, um, and they were gonna be very uptight and be like, we are caring about our future. And then I walked in and there were kids in like funny hats mm-hmm. and there's like party favors everywhere. Mm-hmm. And these kids, it's like 9 a.m. probably. Right. It's I think it's even earlier. Yeah, it's yeah. right around there. Yeah. No, that's... And these kids are bouncing off the walls. We're turned up. Yeah. yeah. Including the adult staff too. Was also I would say, up. and the adult staff, yeah. everybody's into it. I so think I it was get the to, first day. I get, it's so funny you say that because that is usually the first interpretation. People are like, this is like a leadership camp. Like what yeah. do I do? And it is wild and then of course i go out and like you know start sweating and do do my thing and have a blast alan got to see that and he was yeah, like you, well that was different <laughs> yeah you were I, you were showed up in athletic gear you came uh-huh. out of the crowd i did it was a whole it was i a did whole thing. it was a lot of fun so more to come there but that will be that's usually my big summer thing yeah and then i go into the fall semester um really kind of prepped for august and, and ready you know ready to get some more more stuff going and, and that's usually like like around like early August is when teachers start like shooting me a message of, you know, cause they're starting to do prep and planning for the next year. Okay. Uh, and I would say like September, October is when a lot of stuff, you know, go, goes down, but sure. yeah, the summer is, is sort of a, a spot. I'm actually right now, 
Um, and hopefully by the time this comes out, we'll be done. But working on a video, like a highlight video. Uh, oh, sweet. That's going to use some some of the footage that we got, some pictures from uh, across the years of like a minute and a half or two minutes, just like a highlight of what you can expect yeah. from me. Uh, and that that will be really cool to have. We did a there. we did a bonus episode one time on marketing yourself, but that we is did. exactly yeah. And what so you're into. I guess more of that story like is if you are someone who's in front of audiences or you know does something like that, this is something I haven't had. So I've I, I'm investing in myself. Uh, yeah, paying to get this video done for, with a company. And my goal is to shoot it out, blast it to pretty much everyone on my contact list, people I've worked with, yeah. people who I've tried to kind of do business with and be like, this is what I do, and have it be on my website, my email signature. Remind me to talk about this with you off pod, because yes. I definitely have some ideas. I will. So. I will. I like it. So that's, <laughs> you know, and I would say, um, you know, that that's that was definitely the next step for me is to have something like that. Yeah. And then now as we get into summer and I'm a little bit more off, it's nice to kind of focus on like on next steps. But I'm ready to roll for next semester and uh gonna start writing a little bit more and, sure. and just kinda, you know, putting that there. But yeah, this nothing is, nothing's changed necessarily. It's this just is your pretty, reset time. It yeah, is very exactly. much so. It is reset. So. And then obviously Wills is a good way to do that and mm-hmm. come back and then I get to do two keynotes there, which is awesome. I do like nice. an opener, my typical one on Friday. And then on Sunday, I do like a closing kind of reflection based one. Oh, cool. Which, which is different Very for me. Cool. Which is yeah. cool. And I, it's a good challenge. So nice. that's kind of where I've been at for a little while. Yeah. Well, what, what are you up to? You have a busy summer, don't you? Yeah. Summer yeah. is, it's the exact opposite <laughs> for me. So uh, summer for you is kind of the reset. Mm-hmm. Summer for me is go time. <laughs> um, we have our, as, as we record, we have yeah. our beat battle, which by the time this comes out, the finals will be done. Uh, I have one. I, I, I can't even right predict. Right now, the finals are done. We have a final four. I don't even know. <laughs> um, I I also have a concert series in the Third Ward mm-hmm. in Milwaukee, outdoors. Uh, that's always a who knows what's going to happen because of weather and mm-hmm. because of logistics and whatever else. Yeah, whatever um, else. So I have that going. <laughs> and then this year, like so last year I took August basically onward off. Mm-hmm. I had to shut down. I had to reset myself because yeah. I was going, going, going. Now, I thought you were leaving breaking and entering forever. <laughs> what happened to that? Oh my God, I didn't even talk about this part. Yes. Um, but anyway, so I'm planning for the fall already. Yes. And, uh, you Which know, starting to prep, just getting the, you know, beginning things going on that. Um, but yes, I had an April Fool's joke that people still oh, believed. Like um, to this day? I'm pretty sure. So I, I posted on Facebook that I was, you know, going to shut down breaking and entering my side hustle after uh january 1st was gonna like, be the end of it in in a really believable reason well yeah exactly like, so like very personal very like january like, will mark yeah. january 2024 will mark 10 years mm-hmm. of doing daily content mm-hmm. so i was like perfect what a nice round number yeah. and honestly i was i was frustrated when i wrote it at the time so i kind of got some grievances out <laughs> i was gonna say it wasn't all false it yeah was... and part of it was just like you know i do all this work and yeah. i don't get enough recognition or credit or whatever and, and or enough money coming in mm-hmm. or whatever and mm-hmm. i and like some of that is not necessarily the most false thing yeah, in the world there's true too but i was like people are gonna believe this and guess who did i was yeah fully like Wow. Um, so I, I got a believe. yeah, I got a text on April Fool's Day from Jim. Mm-hmm. And I just said, Wow, end of an era. Yeah. And like couldn't believe it or something I like that. I was freaking out. I was I was with my in-laws like eating dinner and I'm like, What? Like yeah. I showed all of them. I'm like, Can you believe Alan <laughs> It was a, yeah. It was a moment. Um, they listened to the show, so you guys you guys know who you are. So <laughs> then at uh so then at about ten o'clock that night, I got another text from Jim mm-hmm. and it said, Oh my god, I just realized <laughs> This is April Fool's. Isn't I had a it? I had a moment, and I was like looking back at the post, and then I'm like reading it closely, and you said one line that like I could tell was like, like I, at the bottom off. I had said that I was switching full time to like sports gambling. Yeah, because and I was sports like, gambling had just become legal in yeah, Milwaukee. Yeah, and then I'm like, wait a minute, like, and, and then I think about it more, and I read two of the comments, and I'm yeah. like. You got me for like twelve hours, yeah, you know, man. and then some people probably for twelve days, and maybe um, even. There, 12 I months. believe that there's still some people. So I actually I had one of our events. I don't remember which one it was, but somebody came up to me. I was like, "Wow, can't believe it, man! Like you're really going through the change." And I was like, "Oh, boy. dude, you don't remember what day it was." No. I had to be like, "Yo, man, I, I like I appreciate it. Yeah, I am glad for the sentiment and everything that you said. Um, but this was one thousand percent an April Fool's It was joke. it was so funny because like. Uh, like I'm thinking about like the corporate ones. A lot of them are like funny but far fetched. Like right. it's clear that some like the the Sox are changing their name to yeah. you know the Chicago Ducks. You know, like stuff like yeah. that is like 
Of course they're not. This was like personal yeah. and one that I could see. I could like see you doing that, but I also couldn't. You know, it's like hey, a real way, you know, right? All I'm saying is, <laughs> look. Oh, what do you got? That's a ticket uh, for um, the Potawatomi sports book. That's a real sports bet. No, that is a real sports So maybe bet. it is true. Maybe what's, I am quitting well, at the end of the year. The what's the play here? What's, what's, your, what's your wager? Is uh, that, a is a, that is a three-team parlay on some soccer championships. Ooh, so folks. one of them has already come through. So I'm telling Let's you, get maybe. get that parlay. If that parlay that hits, is the parlay. We're, we're, uh, uh, we're popping bottles in this. Uh, by the way, you know what we I'm, should commit a to? Modest, a modest bottle for what this pays no, off. No, that's fair. We should actually commit to something here. Yeah. So we're at 60. Okay. We should do something for 75 and we should do something for 100. I like that. Like something we that's should do something special on for the it. show. I'm thinking okay, let's let's think about it. something something kind of goofy but also like maybe um maybe we 75 we should see whatever anniversary that is. And then Yeah, yeah. And then you utilize that. And uh, I mean, seventy-five. We might be doing that live somewhere. We don't know. Oh, that's true. That could be a thing. So or we'll maybe see. we do. Maybe we do a hundred live somewhere. Yeah. I think we pop a pop a bottle too. Absolutely, and, and do that, and then maybe like seventy-five push-ups or something that we can't do. Seventy-five push-ups see, is, we'll, is a we'll, lot. We'll see how it goes. We'll that could be our bonus goes. after our seventy-five yeah. episode. It, who can do it? We, and then we could get my wife to do it. Who yeah, does CrossFit. Yeah. She could actually probably do it. She yeah, would do yeah. it in five minutes but before we've we'd always be finished, talked about doing a show least. like. Like uh, when we first started this pod, you know, two and a half, which is just ridiculous, two and a half years ago. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying that again, like the 2030 thing. Yeah, uh, we we originally intended to like have a couple beers and like kind of just do this Kick back, and, and yeah, and and not that we haven't done that, but it's gotten slightly. We have more not had one that, that has been a totally like loose, and like, we could we've had a few. We could totally do a, t- a loose. <laughs> have had a few show we just haven't Slop, done it yet a sloppy episode yeah. for 75 Which, well that actually could be our our 70 check-in if we want to 70th check-in yeah could be that okay just, i, I want I'm, I'm i'm i mean now we're 27 minutes into this you know who knows who's even listening before but will if, we remember if, this yeah, i will because okay. I'm, I'm in if if you're still listening 70 or 75 70 or 75 which one should be the the i'm gonna call it the tipsy show but i'm also gonna be like maybe it'll be a little bit more than that like who okay. like, and we it, will, it won't be like 45 minutes long we <laughs> oh it do, could be it could be it, it very could well be. could be but like alan and i could definitely we could throw in some broken bat beers let's do that yeah shout out to tim polly have have it here maybe like a maybe like 12 of them and then we're just we're just drinking them as i like as that goes along i like that because like guys here's the thing you got to have some fun. We're professionals. We do our thing. <laughs> Alan and I have been friends for oh, coming we'll up to trust, 15 years. We will trust yeah. that you guys trust us enough by that point, by the 70th yeah. episode. And maybe whatever we're saying, you just you just kind of you just kind of don't. That one's just it. a throw. Oh, yeah. You can just throw that one away. So let's, it's well, for your enjoyment. I think, and <laughs> I think we'll do that. I mean, I'm just like speaking this into existence. 75, we will do something. In 100, we will most certainly do something. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm very convinced in all seriousness that we're going to get to both of those numbers. Oh, I think so. I mean, For seventy sure. and seventy-five. If we don't, something very bad happened. Yeah, uh, that would be that would be a disaster. A <laughs> hundred would just be like we're. <laughs> I, we are actually we are booked very close to seventy already. Yeah, good. Po- oh boy. Okay. So well, I think we may have that. seventy taped by the end of this month. <laughs> it's going to be a wild June. Yeah, yeah, it could happen. That's very um, true. While we've got some things, we can we can start kind of winding down mm-hmm. here. But while I do want to talk about one thing too, since it's yes. the middle of the year. It's June. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did one of our bonuses at the beginning of the year was your word for the year. Mm-hmm. And this is something that Jim came up with. Um, and it was... I didn't come up with it. Or, I've stolen it from many people. Okay. Just so... It's know. something that I had first seen yes. Jim do. I, I brought it here, but I but I took it from John Gordon and a couple other writers out there who are just awesome, but it credit okay. words too. Yeah. Um, so, Jim, you had a word for the year. I did. And, and I want to check in since it's midway through the year. How are you doing on your word? Mm-hmm. My word, year? my word was cheeseburgers, and I've eaten many of them. No, I'm, oh, okay. I'm my word. My word what about it? like, supersized? That himself. was it. Uh, my word was renew. So okay. I wanted to renew my commitment to my leadership, right? Like my my speaking life to to clients I work with uh, through, through my career, and uh, and to my faith life. That was kind of three areas I was really committed to. And and um, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I've done all of them that mm-hmm. well, but I've definitely the, the leadership part has been really good. I've I've come and I've I've you know in the last seven months have moved into a new role in the, my organization, and it's been great. And definitely nice. have had to kind of take on autonomous work in that sense. Uh, definitely have kind of like use that to really 
renew relationships with, with with some folks in the organization and externally too. So I've had a good time with that. And then my speaking life wise, you know, I, I feel like I, I have, I've tried some new things. Like I've, I've not just stayed stagnant. I think that's the easiest way to fail. And yeah. So I've, I've uh, like, I'm trying something new this Friday, for example, like nice. as an intro and I'll, I'll tell you what that is when we're, when we're off here. Cause it's just, it's not going to be that funny if I explain yeah. it here, but, um, but that's been good. And then faith life wise, I'm, 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 I'm a work in progress as I always am on that, but trying to commit to doing a couple intentional things each day that will, nice. that will help. But, um, but overall pretty positive with a lot of room to grow. And the good thing is there's like 200 days left in this year and uh, <laughs> yeah. I, got, I got some time to do it. So Absolutely. I'm still, still committing to it. And I will, and then in the meantime, I'm also going to think about what my word is going to be for 2024. Oh man. Which is wild. I know that's, that's way thinking yeah. ahead. Yours was mine was efficiency. Efficiency. Um, right. I believe some sort of, yeah, it was efficiency mm-hmm. for this year. Uh, so I 1000% feel like I am a much more efficient side hustler. Really? Worker. Yeah. Good. So you've so really done it. Part of that is, uh, there's two things. Part of that is on me. And part of that is definitely the world. Um, and, and what we're dealing with now with AI and all of this mm, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I went kind of all in on learning about this stuff. I'm still learning about it every single day. Um, there's a website called Futurepedia that, uh, wow. is it's all of the different AI tools. Mm hmm. It's the cheat code for everything. So if you're 30 minutes into this podcast, there's your cheat code for today. Is, Futurepedia.com. Uh, yeah, dot, I think AI. Or dot AI. Just look of up Futurepedia. It it's something like that. Yeah. Uh, but it has all the different AI tools. And we have used some of them here on this show. Um, so like our clips that you see on social media, those are cut by AI. I'm not going to lie to you. Mm-hmm. Um, I have found some stuff <laughs> yeah. to make even editing this show uh, a lot faster. Mm-hmm. Some of the stuff that I do for writing, for breaking and entering is a little bit faster. Some SEO tools on the back awesome. end. Yeah. So like You've all really of the stuff. Cranked it. Yeah. And I learned uh, too, like some of the tedious things I'd, I've done. Mm-hmm. I've learned how to automate those. Awesome. So like, it's literally like, you know, if it's something that's repetitive as emailing out to a bunch of sponsors Mm -hmm. or reaching out to bands or whatever, like I have a a bot now that does that. Awesome. That's terrifying. So it's a little terrifying, (laughs) but the first time you see the computer, like do it on its own and you're like, oh, I can just walk away from it. Perfect. Crazy. That's awesome. Um, So I've learned how to multitask and how to do that. The other part of it too, is I've really put myself on more of a regiment Mm -hmm. um, as far as like. I know, you know, so for instance, my wife gets up at 4 a.m. because she's a CrossFit trainer and goes out to, she's a CrossFit coach Mm -hmm. and goes out out of town to go take care of, you know, run the gym in the morning. She goes Mm -hmm. out to the suburbs. Um, I basically have that time from like 4 a.m. until the dog needs to go out, (laughs) whenever that is, usually about seven. Yeah. I got those couple hours that I could go back to bed, but I'm like, it's just me and the work. And so I can get so much done in that time. Yeah. But really being like, okay, I know I can do on Monday, I'm going to do this thing. On mm-hmm. Tuesday, I'm going to do this thing. Wednesday, and really have myself planned out. Yep. yep. And sticking to that, even, you know, not necessarily like hardcore, like I got to work for three hours on mm-hmm. it, but like I want to get this one task done. It's it's important to have that time, you know? Yeah. Like, and, and I can and, chip away at things yeah, early in the yeah. morning, not saying everybody it's for them, but. <laughs> I also go to bed at nine, so I yeah, mean, there's that. that. No, I, it's, but, it's it's good. I'm I'm a morning guy too, like that. When, yeah. when when my wife gets up and you know around five usually, and in between like walking the dog and stuff, I I really try to dive in and yeah. try, to, try to get ahead. And then when I'm really you know by eight o'clock, I'm like okay, like let's actually do the day. But I like I like getting ahead and being proactive. I we're probably cut from that similar cloth, I think, yeah. in that way. But that's awesome. Those and, are the best days yeah. when you have things done and you can like go to your morning meeting or mm-hmm. whatever and be like, that's perfect. When I get done with this meeting, I'm not the world's not on fire. Yeah, exactly, you know? exactly. And what I like too with the um, with AI kind of creating some of this. If you've seen like some of our YouTube shorts, uh, they're really good, especially the one that's like, keep on hustling. Like that's hilarious. Yeah. And AI caught that, which I think is, really yeah, cool. it caught it from, you know, and, and like, it gives us some stuff. Yeah. It gives us some options for every one of our bonus episodes. Totally. So totally. we have so much content. Yeah. We have a lot coming folks. Like it's we really a lot on the way. Yeah. And we have a lot of these like social bonus things it's like gonna every be fun. day. It's going to be fun and stick with us. I hope you're having a good time and, before you know it, we'll be at 70 and you'll be making fun of our check-in and then we'll be at 75 <laughs> and then we'll be at 100 and it'll be great. But um, if, if it's your 60th time listening to this podcast, 
Thank you for being here. If it's your first time, what are you thinking? You should have been here for the other 60. No, the welcome. Start at one and work your way and back. work your no. way up. But it's we only going to get harder as it goes along. That's right. We are hustling sideways, and we are everywhere you get your podcasts. We yeah. are on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor, all the great things. We're on YouTube. We're on Snapchat. No, we're not on Snapchat. Not on Snapchat. Oh, man. I mean, the one we are we're on, on. We're on Twitter. I still challenge uh, Shtick, so go I ahead. was going to see how long you could go for it. We are, I messed it up. We're on Twitter. <laughs> we're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. Uh, we are Why aren't we on Snapchat? Cybers. We could be on Snapchat. Oh, okay. well, we're on TikTok too. Yeah, that's true. I we're think on other TikTok. than the one I named. Yeah. So uh, we are on all of those things, hustling <laughs> sideways. You can find us there. Uh, you can subscribe to this podcast. You can give us five stars. That's the only one you're allowed to give us. Correct. Still, rules still are mandated. Rules. Yep. It's funny. Uh, I don't know why that happened, but it's just the way it is. We we've talked about booking a lot of guests, but you know what? We're taking more. So Keep if you want to be in. if you want to be a guest on the show, you can be in this room. You can be on Zoom. We might all be on Zoom. Yeah, we might happen. all just be in other rooms. <laughs> we could all be in different rooms of this house with one camera on all of us. That would be so unnecessary, but hilarious. It would be so unnecessary. Yeah, yeah, but we might do it. Because, we could do it because why not? Um, you can send us an email. It's hustlingsideways at gmail dot <laughs> We won't do that. We won't do that yeah. last one. No. Um, but you can be on the show. Mm -hmm. We are interested in everybody and anybody's side hustles. We have some interesting stuff coming up. We sure uh, do. I think in our last, uh, I, I'll I'll give a tease as to some of the stuff we have coming up. Go ahead. Uh, I think in our last uh, check in, we said we wanted to hit another country. Mm. We are hitting another country. We are. In this next set of episodes. That's coming. For sure. Yep. Yep. I forgot uh, about that. That's we right. are hitting a couple different. And let's let's give a little uh, a couple teaser. Different times. Let's zones. put another shrimp on the bobby. Well, now you've blown the whole thing it's up. It's Austria. It's Austria, yes. Austria. Famously, Austria. If you've ever seen Dumb and Dumber, <laughs> you, would, uh, you would understand and, that. But we've got, a, <laughs> we've got a bunch of different um, side hustlers coming yeah. up. Various backgrounds, various great things going mm -hmm. on. And we're going to expand our little circle of side hustlers as well in yes, the meantime. Yes, we are. So thank you guys so much for checking this out. Thank you. It's 60 down and... Uh, at least 40 more to go. At least 40 more we'll to go. We got to get to that 100 mark. Uh -huh. I think we're going to we're gonna hit it pretty easily. I do too. Well, so. thank you, Alan. Yeah, thank you. And uh, say, say thank you, Jim. Oh, thank you, Jim. You're welcome. Anytime. I'm very ungracious. Whatever I can do. I've been in the music industry for too it's long. the worst. On that note, keep on hustling. <laughs> we'll see you next week on Hustling Sideways. <laughs>